Welcome into this edition of the Eric Gavisar Show. Some people say the best rivalry in college basketball is Duke and UNC. I beg to differ. I think is the bluegrass showdown between Kentucky and Louisville. Oddly enough, taking place on weeknight, usually it's a big enough of an event that it commands weekend attention. But nevertheless, the Cats traveled to the KFC Yum Center to take on the Louisville Cardinals. And, you know, it was a great, hard-fought game throughout. Uh, lower scoring than perhaps some may have predicted, including myself. But ultimately, Louisville squeezed it out, winning 73-70. to Of course, the biggest shot of the game, I thought, had to come from, uh, you know, Quinton Snyder. Huge three he hit to put the Cardinals up four. And, you know, Malik Monk, who had been off much of the game, you know, uh, had that early foul trouble... But his three to cut the lead to one was impressive in its own right. Extremely clutch, of course. His uh, three-point attempt to tie the game just before the buzzer sounded fell short. But Louisville picked up a huge win here because, in an all honesty, they're just not as good as Kentucky. I think Malik Monk's foul trouble played a huge factor in uh, Louisville's win. But I think part of it also plays into the mistake that either John Calipari or the Kentucky Athletic Director made by scheduling the Cardinals to be their first true road game of the season. I mean, come on. You're going to have your first road game be your toughest one against your biggest rival? You have to get all of these freshman kids tested before they play such a massive game. Now, the one cat who really rose to the occasion, in my opinion, was DeAndre Fox. He had... A huge 21 points for the Cats, you know, had uh, three assists, and, uh, you know, he scored crucial buckets. When it looked like Louisville was going to jump out to a huge lead uh, in the first half, they really went on a run. The high-octane crowd was going absolutely bonkers. Uh, Fox did an amazing job of splitting the Louisville defense, uh, getting through a double team in midair to score the layup. So he was getting it done offensively. Malik Monk had a quiet 16 points, like I said, uh, not the game he was hoping for, but on Louisville's side, Quentin Snyder, clearly the player of the game, going 10 of 19 from the field, nailing a couple of threes, six rebounds, five assists, stat sheet stuffer, but he hit big shot after big shot. When Louisville needed to, him to come through, he did exactly just that, and, you know, uh, Deng Adele had a huge game uh, on his part, 18 points, six rebounds, really going to get done. Four of Louisville's starters finished in double figures. That made a huge difference. Of course, I think the ultimate difference came down to the fact that, you know, Donovan Mitchell with Louisville up one hit two crucial free throws to force Kentucky to have to shoot a three to force overtime. Of course, it didn't go down. Took big cojones from Mitchell. So massive credit to him there. But, you know, like I said, Kentucky too talented uh, to, to lose to Louisville again. I think should these two teams play in the tournament, Kentucky is going to take care of business against them. But Louisville matched up very well physically against Kentucky. They passed the airport test. The interior presence for Kentucky could become a problem. Of course, Bam Adebayo is a freak talent. Had some uh, amazing blocks out there tonight. Had nine rebounds, 11 points, 6'10", 270 as a freshman. But besides that, rebounding could present an issue. It certainly was an issue uh, against North Carolina. But, uh, you know, offensively, the Cats are always going to find a way to score points. So Louisville at this point has to be fancying themselves as a Final Four contender after such a huge win. You know, already ranked 10th. But, you know, it'll be interesting to see how these two teams move forward. So uh, with that, you know, thank you so much for tuning in. And please make sure you subscribe to my channel.